you know, this is what I should have said in my video that um, just premiered to uh, the Frenchie guy and anybody else from this generation and whatever generation, right? Okay, now let's listen to some of what he's saying and then I'm going to say what I should have said the first time. What up, what up, y'all? It's Frenchie Stone, and we're about to talk about it. Young Pharaoh is going crazy. But before we speak on that, I want it to be known, but I declare war on the conscious community. On the whole conscious community, bro. It's all of you. It's not just the time camp. Right? It's not just it's not it's not just my song. Right? It's not just it's not just young Pharaoh. It's not, it, 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 it's all of y'all. It's a lot of these names, and I declare war on y'all. I've already been exposing half of y'all, right? But it's a lot of y'all name on the list, like Sean Netta. You know what I'm saying? Cole Light, right? A lot, a lot of these people, man. A, 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 we gonna keep on, we gonna keep on exposing them right here, but I declare war. Enough is enough. The black community... The black community was looking for answers. Okay. The black community. Right, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, sir. And for any of you, stop following these people. Stop looking for a quote-unquote saver, a leader, a teacher, or, or whatever you guys are calling them. Stop looking for such a thing. Stop doing that, especially from this generation. It's not going to happen. And when you say the quote unquote black community uh, was looking for answers. You've been had your answers. You've been had your answers. You're going to have to go back to go forward, sir. OK, you it's not going to be no new age. Nobody. That's going to come and magically fix anything, lead you anywhere. Sir, Umar has been promising a school for well over 10 years. And people have been providing for him and his lifestyle and a fake imaginary school. Hoping that he would open a school. Okay. People have had children that they wanted young boys to go to his school which is crazy but these are grown-ups now and they're still asking about that school it's not gonna come from this group of people that you're looking at these things have been laid out for you guys already all right it's been ignored 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 and ignored by most by most now these people that you guys are looking at they saw that you were ignoring that and they decided to come along and take advantage that's what they did and that's what they keep doing because you keep ignoring it go back go back I know reading is not a popular thing nowadays but you gotta pick up some books you gotta oh, also do research I know that that's not so hot either. But let me give you something. Here's one book you can start with. Ever heard of Dr. Frances Cress Welsey? Oh, she's wonderful. You should check her out. You should do a lot of research on her, what she teaches. The ISIS Papers. That is a book of hers that you should read. And I'm sure if you're truly looking from there, you will find others and you will find that everything you need to know has already been put out there for you. Where do you think Pharaoh got a lot of the information that he put out? He looked it up. He looked it up and he highlighted it for you guys in a dramatic way. But he never had good intentions. People keep saying he fell off. Well, maybe it's time for him to sit down. Maybe, just maybe, Pharaoh is now having to begin to pay back some of what he put in. You know? 
Pharaoh wants to blame a new person every season for him so-called quote unquote getting drunk. But the truth is there are um, multiple things that took place with Pharaoh. And if you guys have been really watching and paying attention in the correct ways, you would understand that. Pharaoh can holler about Golden and other people who have absolutely nothing to do with him whatsoever to blame. But at the end of the day, Pharaoh is suffering because of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was never meant to come and save you because nobody is. He was never meant to come and be your quote unquote leader because there is no one of that sort designated to do that for you but you went with the shiny new penny as you always do and as long as you keep repeating the same patterns and keep looking for and you know what it's cool you can expose these guys and they should be exposed because every once in a while like <laughs> I just did I put videos out about them too but putting too much energy into them and focusing on them is not going to help at all you need to be finding out what it is that you need to know what it is that you need to do you're disappointed well guess what it could have been worse what did you learn from this what did you learn because I must say if you guys have learned what you should be learning from this you wouldn't even be saying things like we're disappointed in you and you let us down and we needed answers and we needed some blah, blah, blah. And where's the school and all that other kind of stuff. You'd be like, oh, well, OK, I see. All right. Things happen for you to learn from them, advance and move forward. That's what we're supposed to be doing while we're here. Not constantly repeating the same things over and over again. And as long as we keep repeating the same things over and over again, we're going to keep having experiences that just aren't going to, you know, be uh, good for us. Not at all. It's good they're falling apart. They were trash on the onset. A lot of you guys didn't see it. You chose to believe in them for whatever reason. Maybe it was easier to get hyped up listening to Pharaoh, just like when people go to church on Sundays listening to the preacher. Maybe it was easy to share his videos. Maybe it was easy to believe that Pharaoh, <laughs> a person of his background, was going to actually do something great for you guys. A person that ran scam after scam after scam after scam. Even getting exposed throughout these scams. And a baby, mind you. Pharaoh is barely reaching 30 now, right? He was in his teens when he came out, right? I'm not saying, but at the end of the day, you chose to idolize this guy. You chose to worship him just like the rest of them. You got Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell got his popularity and high status on social media. Great amount of income coming in from it for years. Off of breaking up with his ex-lover and turning around and saying, well, this guy is famous, but, you know, he... he uh, he took advantage of me when I was young. And I was just a poor little innocent kid. And you guys chose to make him popular. You chose to sympathize with him. Even though the truth is in your face. The truth is in your face. While he was telling some truths. Because at 15 years old. And yes. You know. This person. We all know who he is. Has a history a track record of violating As at 15 years old. You, you, you kind of know what's up. And, and 
the relationship was consistent and long term. And it had recently been severed when he came out. And and while he was going on this rant, he would come on and tell you guys, you know, just recently, yeah, you know, he gave me this and he sent me that and uh, I could get anything from him if I wanted. And, uh, oh, another guy has come out and said he was a victim, you know, uh, and this guy being a guy who didn't maintain a long-term relationship with the, uh, you know, alleged abuser. Oh, I'm going to bust his head to the white meat. Y'all saw all of these things and you still chose. And to this day, if anyone goes to his channel, he has big numbers. You all did that. You all are doing that. Polite. We can go person by person by person and break down their scandalous history. And it's been all over the internet and it's been told a thousand times and it's been seen in real time as it was happening. People just chose to overlook things, to not believe things, or to still believe for some odd reason that something beneficial was going to come. Out of them continuing to look up to and support these people. Your real heroes, your true heroes, the ones that really sacrifice. They're, um, they're no longer here. Okay? And they left things behind as they should have. What will these guys have for you when they leave? What would they have left behind that could help future generations? Well, they can help you understand <laughs> That um, that we they don't make them like they used to. We got to go back to move forward. Okay, you can keep exposing these guys and telling them how disappointed you are. You do you? Think, they don't care. You're just helping keeping them in rotation. Okay, and 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 whatever. Yes, I agree. New people should know. Right? But you were new too. So was I. We all had to learn. What you focus on grows. Right? Start looking back. I'm sure you'll be inspired. I'm sure you'll be encouraged. <laughs> Whatever it is that you guys think that these people have that you need to get from them. That's not your source. That's not your source. Stop believing that. All this money <laughs> been put towards Umar getting a fake school and you know he's a liar. You know he's no good. And not only that, you know he is nobody to be running your schools. This fool don't even deal with his own children. He has shown you publicly that he is um, very immature and irresponsible, although he is intelligent in some areas. Look at how he handled public beefs. You have not seen him involved in anything with children. You cannot find one video. Not one video. Of Umar Johnson and with a group of children doing anything, not even pushing them on a swing. But he tells you he is a clinical psychologist and he can help you make the right choices or the better choices or the best choices for your child in a system. And you think he should be the dean of a school. He has absolutely no business sense whatsoever, no humility, and no shame, and no accountability. Yet you give and 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 you hope and you hope and you hope and you hope. Meanwhile, it is like pulling teeth to get your local communities together <laughs> to be strategic and plan for anything. Let's say voting or you know some kind of project 
how did Pharaoh get rich? How did Sarnetta, uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why do you guys keep empowering them? It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's really, really hard to understand. For me. Huh? Maybe because of the people I have studied and the research that I have done. And that I own a copy of the Isis papers and a lot of others work. And I understand a lot about what has happened and why. And maybe if you guys take the time to understand and also pay attention to some of the things that they say that you should do to counteract that, you might realize how powerful you truly are. Toodles.